What's up coaches, it's Neff here. Let's talk about your warm and cold market. When you guys are on social media, when you're talking to your friends out in the world, when you're just exposing people to what you do as a Beachbody coach and trying to gain their interest in one of our challenges, that's called either talking to your warm market or your cold market. Your warm market consists of all the people that you already have ongoing relationships with. You, you talk to them on a regular basis. They know who you are, you know who they are, and you have a pretty solid understanding of how you could either start a conversation with them or just talk to them in order to offer them an opportunity with us. Your cold market is the exact opposite of that. Your cold market are all the people who you don't know yet. Maybe they're people who are connected within Facebook or Instagram or Twitter to people who you already are friends with, people who are in your warm market. Or maybe they're people who don't know anybody that you know and they just belong to a chat room, a message board, uh, some sort of blog that has something to do with a subject that refers to and relates to what we do as Beachbody coaches, specifically with our challenges. So when you're reaching out to your warm market, it's very simple. It basically, you just want to think about it uh, uh, as if, if you've ever had a job or if you've ever been at a picnic or some kind of gathering where there's a lot of people who you are comfortable with, who know you well, and you basically talk about what you do. So it always comes up in conversation just in passing where people say, oh, how is your job going? What, it is that, what is it that you do on an everyday basis? Or how's this, how's that, blah, 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 blah. That's basically how talking to your warm market works. So on a daily basis on your Facebook profile or on your Facebook like page, you should be sharing what it is that you do in our challenge, which doesn't mean go out there and talk about, you know, beach body, this beach body, that P90X turbo fire, 21 day fix. Stop throwing out those, those brand names because that's not you. If somebody's interested in learning about, Beachbody, 21 Day Fix, Insanity, P90X, all those things, they can easily go to Google, do a search for it, find whatever information they need, and that'll most likely point them to another website where they can actually order that thing. And that defeats the purpose of what you're doing. So if you're constantly throwing those names out in people's faces, that's gonna prompt them to follow those other steps and eventually order it through Amazon or from Beachbody themselves. And we don't want that. What we wanna do is we want you to get into the habit of promoting yourself by showing the habits and the behaviors that you're learning to adapt into your life through being a part of our challenge. Because you want the people that are in your warm market who see your post on a regular basis to say, that sounds exactly like what I want. I want to be you know, on a plan that gives me portioned meals and has me on a schedule where I'm eating five to six meals and tells me exactly how to work out and what to do every day and how to modify and I want the support that I get inside that challenge group. It's gonna be the best way for me to get to my success, to get to the goal that I've been trying to get to all this time. That's how you attract people to you because they're gonna see you talking about these things and they're gonna reach out to you and say, hey, I want to know more about what it is that you're doing. And that's when you start talking to them about, t talking to them about, hey, I'm part of this challenge. This is what it is. This is what we do. This is why it's so wonderful. It's been working so great. Keep And then just keep asking them about why they're interested. The more they tell you about why it is that that specific thing connects with them so well, the easier it's going to be for you to finally have that conversation at the end where you invite them to a challenge group and eventually have a sales conversation. Now you can't have these type of conversations with people in your cold market because they don't know who you are. If you were to reach out to somebody that you don't know, let's say you friend request somebody on Facebook because they're friends with a friend of yours, they may you know, respond and accept your, your friend request, but if you message them right away and say, hey, I think you'd be awesome for this challenge group that I'm in, one, they're gonna look at you like, who is this person? And two, what are they trying to sell to me? And that's not what we want. Being a Beachbody coach is about building relationships. So you have to understand, in order to warm up your cold market, you have to build a relationship. So I want you guys to think about it this way. If you've ever been a new student in a new school, or 
Think about when you went from elementary school to middle school or middle school to high school. There was a period of time where you had to warm up the cold market of students to find out who was going to be your friends or who were going to be the people that at least found you interesting. Well, as adults, we somehow forgot how to do all that really natural stuff. Well, let me remind you how to do it. So on Facebook, for instance, let's say you friend request a bunch of people who are connected to your already existing warm market. These people don't know who you are and they're not going to respond to a cold message. Think about every time that you get a phone call in the middle of the night or at dinner time and somebody's like, oh, I thought this would be a great opportunity. Click. You hang up on them or you don't even listen to them the whole time because it's impersonal and we don't want to come off that way. So how do you warm them up? First, you have to let them know that you exist. So after they accept your friend request, request, go to their page and start looking at their posts. See what they post about. Like some of their posts. Even comment on some of their posts. But I'm telling you right now, your comments should be very innocent, very simple. You basically want to eventually make that person, one, recognize you, two, believe that you have something in common with them. So if they post about a movie that they once saw or a movie that they recently saw or a song that they really like, comment about how you like it too. It doesn't matter if you do or you don't. You just want that person to start saying, hey, I have something in common with that guy or that woman. Eventually, and I say eventually because this can take some time, depending on how frequently you return to that person's page and interact with them, it could take some time to finally warm them up to the point where you start to feel comfortable enough with them and how they post and how you think you align with them to be able to message them and say, hey, you know, I've, you know, we've been interacting for a while and I really think that we connect on this level and I think that this would be a really great opportunity for you. What do you think? Now that may seem weird to some of you when you hear me say something like that, but it's very easy if you take the time to build a relationship just by warming them up, just by getting them used to seeing you post on their page, getting used to seeing you like their things. And guess what? The more that you interact with them on their page, the more that they will see your posts on their feed. Just because you're connected to somebody as a friend doesn't mean that they're automatically going to see what you post on your page. You only get to show your posts on people's feeds if they're people that you've interacted with recently. So make it a habit of warming up your cold market by liking their stuff, commenting on their stuff, so that you can show them what you're about on their feed. I hope that was helpful. I know that you guys are working really hard and I know that eventually you're going to exhaust your warm market and you don't want to get stuck in a position where you get to the point where you're like, ah, I'm out of people in my warm market. Now I got to start building my cold market. Do them at the same time. As you're building your warm market, as you're talking to your warm market, start warming up your cold market now. So that way, as you start to run low on your warm people, you don't have to start all the way over with cold people. You already have some cold people who are getting warmer, as I like to say. So if you have any questions, comment below. I'd be more than happy to help you guys out with this. This is very important and this is going to help you guys in the long run to be effective coaches and to basically be able to expose anybody to this opportunity. Remember, consistency is key. So the more you do this, the more comfortable you'll, do, you'll be able to do it and the more natural you'll come off. It's not going to be perfect at first, except the fact that you're going to fail at it for a little while. It's going to be weird, but it gets better and it gets easier and you will be able to help many more people if you just do this on a daily basis. All right. Thanks for listening. I'm going to let you guys go. Post your comments below, any questions you have, and I will be here to help you. See you guys.